I want to welcome you back to Boxing Jabs tonight. We're going to talk about Telefimo Lopez, the takeover, destroying Peter Campa. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Tonight, Telefimo Lopez came back. The takeover looked like the dominant fighter he was when he took the championship away from Vasal Lomachenko. He basically took apart Peter Campa and destroyed him. You've seen him from top to bottom give that work to Peter Campa. His jab tonight was excellent. It's one of the best jabs in boxing. I wish he used it more in the fight that he's having because Telefimo, what he did tonight that I really, really liked is that he didn't go for the knockout. He let the fight come to him. And he let Peter Campa come to him and he systematically broke Peter Campa down and finished him off. I'm talking about he gave that man a true beating. And this is what happens when your mind is together, your body is together, and you're spiritually together. And this is what happened tonight when you see him systematically take this fighter over, destroy him. And I'm glad that Tony Weeks stepped in and stopped the fight before something bad happened to Peter Campa. You know, sometimes I always tell fighters, when you take a loss, sometimes you can become a better fighter because sometimes you become more focused. Telefimo Lopez, after winning that championship, he was a little full of himself. He didn't think he can be, be beat, and he got upset by George Cambosis. Now he's mentally back, and he has the world at his feet. That he's talking about possibly a fight between him and the winner of Jack Cartel and the champion Josh Taylor, or possibly fighting someone else in that division, Ryan Garcia, which would be a mega fight between a Rican and a Mexican. That would be a fight that everyone would love to see right there. So <clears throat> Telefimo Lopez has a lot of big money fights right there, even though he lost to George Cambosas. And like I said, with these big divisions being so, let me tell you something, competitive, from lightweight to welterweight, it's got to be between 10 to 15 really good fighters that can win a championship if they're all jostled together. So right now, boxing is at an all-time high because I truly believe we have some great, talented young fighters who can put on a show, who can bring the crowds in, and who have the ability to be great champions. And so let me tell you something. You got mega fights out there right now. Right now, Josh Taylor, if he can beat Cantrell, but we already know what happened in that first fight. Cantrell won that easy. I don't know how he got them judges to go for him and Josh Taylor. But either fighter versus Telefimo Lopez is going to be an excellent fight if he gets it. Because Lopez is the type of fighter who's going to give you action. That's why you see the crowd was so excited. Because when he throws a punch, you're expecting a knockout. And he still has those boxing skills that I believe that if he concentrate on those skills, hell, he can win a fight with his jab. That's how good that jab is. So, to me, even though he lost, he's still one of the best fighters in the world. Losses mean nothing. That's part of the game, especially when you reach the highest levels of boxing. Doesn't mean that you're a failure or you fell behind. Greatness come with longevity. And that's what I think Telefimo Lopez has understood 
after that loss against George Cambosis Jr. He said it. He said, I feel so much better. You know, his father got him on the right track. That's what you need with boxers because they can become full of themselves. They can lose their weight. But tonight he showed that if he can win this fight, which he did, maybe he can get that fight with the winner of Josh Taylor and Craig Trump. Because Josh Taylor only has two belts now. They stripped him. And I, I don't like that. I don't think he should have been stripped of two belts because we all want an undisputed champion. And that's what boxing should be about. But you know how these governing bodies are. They all about the cash money. And especially when some of these fighters refuse to pay those exorbitant fees that um, these boxing, what I call despots, want you to pay them to keep their belts. So tonight we're going to give Telefemo Lopez an A-. minus, You know, but... It was damn near a perfect fight for him. I want to thank you for listening to Boxing Jabs. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.